see an error like so on your Nintendo Switch, it just means you need more memory. So right now, if you already have a micro SD card inserted, just you're gonna have to buy a new one, a bigger one. Or you could just delete some games and free up space, so that way you can install the update or any game on your Nintendo Switch, if that's what you're trying to do. So at this point, I'm just gonna cancel download since I don't have space. All right, so we got our SD card right here. And what we're gonna do is just insert that in. So this 128 gigs, which is gonna be more than enough. Obviously, you might not need as much. And all we have to do is just put it in there. There we go. Close this up once again. I'm gonna flip this around. And finally, we're gonna be able to install or make any updates. So let's just go right into it. So this message, not everybody's gonna get this. This was a micro SD card that I used on another switch and that's why I'm getting this message. That's fine. That means you have to delete everything inside that micro SD card, which makes sense. You have to format it. That's because Nintendo doesn't want you to transfer games from another Nintendo to this Nintendo this way. So you can't just swap micro SD cards. Right now it's just gonna go ahead and reboot like it always does. There we go. Let's just log back into it. So right now we don't have to format it because it kind of just did that for us. So what we have to do right now is just go and install anything that we wanted to. So I wanted to run an update on Fortnite. I'm gonna be able to do that right now. So after update, internet, then here we go. It's gonna check for that update. And we can just go back. Right at this point, we can click on Fortnite. And we're gonna see that it's download downloading right now. So finally, this is working. If I click on download options, you're gonna see this. Download the software first, cancel download or just go back. We're gonna go back in this case. And I do wanna mention that you never ever want to start the software because that's gonna create kind of a glitch. And that's because you always, always have to update Fortnite in order to get into the game. And that goes out with almost every single game out there. So right now it is telling me that it's gonna take an hour, but that's just because the Wi-Fi network that I have it hooked on. So I'm gonna actually change that up and make that go faster. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.